Hello, I'm Toy Cat and welcome back to another third channel scooter video. So I just picked up a brand new scooter. It's called the E-Move Cruiser. And unlike my previous Xiaomi M365, the model you probably see everywhere if you live anywhere in the UK or anywhere in Europe, I've seen them everywhere. Uh, but this one is actually a little bit more expensive. It's about three times the price and it has something like 1.5 times the speed. But the big real seller on this, the reason most people get it, is it has a lot of quality of life features. It has suspension, for instance, like it actually bounces when you get on it. I don't know if I can show that effectively because of the kickstand. Um, it's got a slightly more beefy uh, motor, uh, double the speed so it can go uphill significantly more effectively. Um, it's got a much cooler speedometer. And in my opinion, the best bit is that it's key operated. <laughs> this is dumb. You don't need it for a scooter, but you can in fact, or you, you do in fact need a key uh, to turn this on. So uh, yeah, this video, I'd love to focus on all the weird little features I love that the handlebars are retractable. All you have to do is this, and they fold down, makes it easy to get at places. I love that there's like an actual bolt, if you look down there, that locks in the steering column, so you know it's never going to fall down while you're going at full 24 miles per hour. But mostly, I love the speed element. By the way, there's also indicators, which is insane. Uh, this is a little bit of a fun thing. It's so fun, in fact, that you can't see, but I'm even wearing a helmet right now, because such is my fear. So yeah, right now I'm going cobblestone. This is like a super terrifying environment for scooters usually, but it's got hard tires, so they're, they're not uh, air-filled, they're just hard. And then the way they balance out the, the ride uh, quality that you'd otherwise lose is they've uh, then added suspension, like I mentioned, to both wheels, du dual suspension, which is a really fun thing, in my opinion. So I guess I'm gonna go on this bus lane right here. This is a really bus busy London road, but you know what? Screw it, let's go. And let's show you the speed in this thing. So there are three modes, so it's not going. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, so there are three modes on this thing. There's mode one, there's mode two, and there's mode three. And unlike on my Xiaomi, and unlike on most scooters I'm used to, the three modes don't affect the acceleration at all. You get the same kind of room in all three modes. Instead, what they just do is they limit the top speed. And I'm assuming somewhere in the acceleration profile it makes a difference, but they all feel the same speed until they hit somewhere near their top speed. Um, okay, lights are changing. Let's do this. And let's show you how uh, we can actually keep up, despite being in London traffic, with... Um, I'm going to show you how, in spite of that, I'm going to be keeping up with London traffic, going at London traffic speeds, um, which is 20 miles per hour. Because this is three modes. One is 12 miles per hour at mode one. The mode one right now is uh, 18, which is effectively 20, it seems. Like, maybe it's just the inclines I go on, or maybe it's like... Oh, is, that, is the bus stopping? I really don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, I don't want to do with the... I want to get myself into an bike bike lane to ride this, but to prove my point... Because um, <laughs> I'm still not 100% in the... I feel safe and secure every time I'm in a big city. Like, big vehicles still mess me up. Like, cars, I get. Cars, I can understand. But with a big vehicle, you just don't know that it can even see you, you know? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride forwards onto this bike lane here behind the cyclist who hopefully knows what he's doing. <sighs> But yeah, the uh, <laughs> the rump in this thing is fun. Like, um, I want I'm actually recording this video because I want to see the speed in it. But it's real good. But anyway, I want to get back to the whole like. Oh, so you said, wait a minute, it's not legal to cat. It goes faster than the Xiaomi, which is the max speed uh, that a vehicle can go at. That seems real bad. That seems even you might go as far as to say illegal, right? I'm actually gonna pull the same thing over here. I need to like a right turn to get going down there somehow. But I don't know how that's gonna happen. I guess I go forwards and then kind of cut across there, maybe? Yeah, that's probably my best bet. See, there's police on my left there. And you might think, as a result, scary, scary. Don't be saying words like illegal around here, Toy Cat. And you know, maybe, maybe scary, scary. Shouldn't be saying words like illegal around here, Toy Cat, indeed. Oh God. Okay, let's go forwards. <laughs> but yeah, this, the acceleration on this thing feels much faster, even in mode two, which is all I ever use. Okay, I'm going right, I'm going right. Oh, don't worry, I look behind me like three times before ever trying, like turning right in the UK is like turning left in America. It's like, you don't do it unless you really need to. But um, the other cool thing about this, so not only does it break the law regarding um, speed, 15.5 uh, is the max for an e-bike. Although to be fair, scooters aren't e-bikes, so they're illegal even if they follow those rules. But also it has cruise control turned on. So as soon as you hit a speed and you hold it for a few seconds, um, the, uh, as, as soon as you do that, like uh, <laughs> instant, uh, like uh, a few seconds after, you get this immediate like cruise control situation going on. Please don't change, please don't change, thank you. Um, you get cruise control going on. So me, without using my finger, or oh, without having to use my finger, um, I have this uh, you know, 20 miles per hour locked in. 
Which means, again, I, I don't know the speed limits around here. I'm guessing from that sign that says 20 on the right that this is a 20 road though, which means I can straight up keep up with London traffic, except it's better than that. It's not just a traffic beat. Like before I was like almost keeping up, I was going a little slower than traffic. Now I can keep up with London traffic, but it's even better because I have my own dedicated bike lanes. As you can see right here, so like if you look at my hands, I don't know if you can even see it, I'm not pulling the, the trigger and yet I am going full. That is a really nice quality of life feature. And given that you want to have the brake held, um, and it's a little awkward to hold both at the same time, you know, because the right brake is the powerful brake, the front brake. Um, it's really nice to have that feature and just to see it be a part of the default. And also, oh, isn't this fun? The answer is yes, this is really fun. Um, <laughs> oh, it's so fun and fast. I forget how fast it is sometimes, which is a big compliment in my opinion. So um, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to be trying to make my way up to the river today. That's going to be my ending point. When I hit London Bridge or Tower Bridge, one of the iconic London bridges that makes living in London worthwhile when nothing in London's open. I'm going to, because you know, there's, there's two things people say about London. It's stores and it's bridges. Does anyone know anything else? I, I don't think that's true. We just have stores and we just have bridges. But, um, okay. Oh, <laughs> it's a little awkward trying to like push off and I want to turn right, but I shouldn't, so I shan't. I'm not, yeah, I think I meant to turn right though. Okay, it's fine. So yeah, I'm going a full, I'm going some full speed. It's real nice. I'm liking it. I really think I was meant to take that right there. It just seems like a right that I would have to take. Okay, but Blackfire is one mile ahead. Okay, no, I'm going the right way now. It doesn't feel like I am, but I think I am. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go past this. Yep, that's fine. Oh, should not have done that. Yeah, I see why they were back there now. I see why that was perhaps a smart thing to do. So now we're gonna cross the street, nice and casually. It's even like a, I feel like the dual mode, the ability to keep up with speed, but also switch off, really fun. And also when you're like nervous, uh, I, I think nervousness is good when you're in control of a vehicle, personally. Like being able to think, not, not nervous in a way that you'll break and cause an accident by doing that, but being nervous in such a way that you're trying to only ride uh, such that there is no risk. I think that's a, I think that's a, a smart, perhaps important thing to do. Um, well, you know, they seem to have the right idea. <laughs> like, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't do most of my riding inside of central London because I don't want to die, but for what it's worth, oh, look at this. This is a hill right here. Oh, this is fun. This is where I want to be. What are they doing? They're just riding behind the bus. Okay, that's, that's probably normal. I assume. I've never seen this actually before, actually. But I'll stick with it. It's better that than death, I guess. <laughs> By some marginal amount. Oh, I see this child in the background. I actually am going the right direction. I thought the river was to the right, but there's St. Paul's Cathedral as well. See, I love London. It's pretty. So speaking about uh, legal regulations. So e-scooters are not okay in the UK. They are, um, legally speaking, there are a list of things that are allowed on the pavements. It's like bikes and, no, it's not even bikes. It's just, um, you can walk and you can have horses on the pavement. Those are your two options. Um, and if you want to go on the road, you have to have, uh, you have to either be a bike or you have to be insured. You have to have a license plate. And there's certain uh, rules like, you know, you have to be able to indicate, which for the record I can do. You hear me indicating? You can't see me indicating, but I am indicating. Um, so like, you have to be able to indicate. And there's certain like brake light requirements. Um, this actually meets that third set of requirements, but it doesn't meet the first two. Uh, I do not have a license plate for it. I don't even have a driving license, which might be another thing. Also insurance and tax. And you know, you, you run into a whole lot of issues that make them effectively 100% uh, legal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull off the overtake here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. That's good. That feels fun. <laughs> but um, so they're effectively illegal in their entirety. And I thought like it was fine. We're playing by the e-bike rules. That's a okay. But my police encounter recently made me realize that like, you know what? I think in any situation, most most police recognize that you know most most people recognize the utility of a vehicle that can get you around. Um, you know, it's it's not a harm to other people; it's a harm to yourself. It's again, it's effectively a very slow moped. Um, but the harm that comes in, I think most people agree, the benefit that comes with this sort of utility vehicle is um, significantly better than the harm that it can cause. And most police even agree that. I've, on the way to here today, in fact, it, as well as the police you saw in this video, I went past three police. Um, well, actually it was National Crime Agency, which I don't know the difference between that and police. Honestly, you know what? If someone could inform me, that'd be great. But um, 
I went past um, Ponce that today and nothing happens because that's not how um, that, yeah, again, it's it's mostly seen as a fine thing. And that's what I made me realize that, like, you know what? If I'm going to have the old police officer try to be like, ooh, you know, uh, that's not okay anyway. Even when I'm following all the e-bike regulations, why am I following the e-bike regulations? Why hamper myself when I could have a fun commuter bike that will get me around where I want to be from London? Uh, again, this thing has 100 kilometers of range. That is over 60 miles. I, I think it's like 65, 70 miles. Ah. Um, Oh, this is a fun road. I, I, I forgot just how cool this stretch of the Cycle Superhighway is. But um, if, if, if I'm already going to have the occasional, like, oh, having to defend my innocence for riding a vehicle, that I would love to be legal. I would love to follow any legal requirements where they transparent and actually existed. But I think, do you know what? I'm going to make the jump. Uh, something... Oh, we crossed the street here. I want to make the jump. I want to, you know, if, if it's going to be in the situation anyway. This is probably very wet, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, are we recording? We are. I think let's make the jump anyway. Let's just, let's just get something that has some power and that has some range because um, there are lots of journeys I wanted to make where I was like, ooh, it's kind of dicey, I'll be slow on the way back. This thing, ooh, it's 100 kilometers. <laughs> I love the rule that like red lights just don't apply if you're a cyclist. See, that's not me, by the way. People watch my videos and they're like, oh, it's like cat, kind of a monster. And like red lights are a really good indicator Especially when the more dangerous a vehicle you are, the more you should be following red lights. As a pedestrian, I think red lights are entirely optional. As a, as a cyclist, I think they're close to optional. As a car, you know, every now and then, and then like as a bus or a tram or a train or something, it's like, yeah, probably should be following those. That's a, that's a good idea you're doing. So yeah, we're on a cycle superhighway now and you can see like, oh yeah, this is a real nice benefit to run one of these things. It's, I, I think I probably overstated it by saying it's better than just being on the road. Um, but, you know, before we go, I, I can't not do this to you. Let's go into mode three. We've got a real nice oh, stretch of road ahead of us. Let's show you max speed on this thing, which I am terrified of beyond all belief. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going. Holy shit. I'm barely. Okay. I'm not able to pull off the overtake in a safe way. I, mean, I actually am. If you look ahead of me, it's incredibly safe. But I'm being a good person, and I'm choosing not to. <sighs> that was probably my best best spot to do it to. Like I think here is where the cycle superhighway dies. I could be wrong. I know it keeps going forwards. But uh, I, I want to stretch a road where I can put this thing to the max because it's terrifying for me to be in the you know like oh god okay red lights don't apply. I always forget those rules. <laughs> it's terrifying for me in the moment. You know it's terrifying in the in the heat of the second when you're like going that speed. But I bet if I watch the video back, it'd be a-okay. By the way, this is London Bridge. There was a big old attack here. So they have these things stopping people going for the pavement, which I think is one of the biggest shame. Oh, oh. hi. 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 Hi.